In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Roku streaming stick 4K step by step. So you want to take everything out of the box, and the first thing we're going to be grabbing is the actual streaming stick, which looks like this. And on the bottom, you'll notice there's a little port, which we're going to be using the one cable that came in the box to plug that in. Now on the one side, there's a USB, so very clearly that's not going to fit. So grab the other side and plug it into your streaming stick. Now there is a little USB label on the top and that plugs in right there, just like that. So once you've done that, you can grab the other side and we're going to be plugging this USB into the electrical adapter that came in the box as well. So go ahead and plug these both in together so the streaming stick will be able to get some power. You could also plug the USB cable into your TV if you wanna go that route for power, but I recommend using the electrical adapter. So you are pretty much ready to go. It's just a matter of plugging them in. So plug the HDMI streaming stick into your TV and plug the electrical adapter into the wall. Now, once you've done that, grab your old TV uh, remote. We're going to be changing the input to which we had plugged the streaming stick into HDMI 2. It's going to depend on which one you plugged it into, but just change to the input uh, for which one you plugged it into. Now it's going to ask you to pair your remote. So there is a little slip on the back, so make sure you pull that out. I had done it already. Just make sure your batteries are working. Then you wanna press the home button and the back button for five seconds, which will cause the green LED light to flash, indicating that it's pairing. So once your remote is paired, from here we're gonna be using the OK button as well as the directional pads, uh, pretty much to do the entire setup. And then all you need to do is simply get started by selecting your language. So go ahead and do that now. In the meantime, your Roku streaming stick is going to perform a wireless scan. So go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi network from here. And if you're not sure what the name is, you can always check the back of your router and it will have the name. So once you've selected your specific Wi-Fi network, all you need to do is input your sign-in information and password, and we'll be able to go to the next step. So press connect once you've done that, it's going to do a wireless connection test as well as internet connection test. And then once this is finished, you'll likely get a pop-up that says your Roku needs to update to the latest software. So go ahead and press okay and do that now and it'll restart your Roku streaming device. So once your Roku device is updated to the latest software version, we're now going to set up the Roku remote so you can control the power and volume on your TV. So select continue, and at this point you wanna select your TV brand. I have an Amazon TV, but you can go to change TV brand and select whichever one you have. So at this point, you just wanna follow these prompts that are showing up on the screen. Uh, you can't hear the music playing in the video here, but you should hear music while you're going through these steps, just to ensure that your Roku remote is paired with your TV properly. So once you've gone through that process, you'll get a success symbol. We're gonna press okay to continue at this point. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you to sign in or create your account with Roku. So you can either do this on your desktop or you can scan a QR code if you see the one beneath enter email address. And then it's just a matter of entering in your personal information as well as credit card or PayPal information. So once you've finished activating your device, you'll get a screen that says all done. So now we're going to scroll over and this is going to bring us through some steps here. It looks like I skipped through some of them. Uh, no worries though. It's going to give you a little bit of a video, how to get started, a quick tour of the Roku player, and just gives you a little bit of a rundown. Now, some of the most important buttons on your remote is definitely going to be something like this home button at the top. If you're ever confused about where you are, you know, something like that, you can always press that and it'll you know, essentially bring you back to the home screen and you can start all over. So this is what the home screen looks like. Once you're here, it's just a matter of selecting the apps that you want to download and install, and then you can use them. So if you want to know, well, how do I find some of these apps? Let's say I wanted um, Netflix and it wasn't here on the side. Well, you can scroll down to featured, so free stuff. You can scroll down to search. This is where you're going to find some of the most popular apps which are recommended on the side. And you can just simply type it in here. Let's say we're looking for Netflix, type in N and it pretty much pops up immediately under the channels. Now to download it, all you need to do is select the app or channel, press the okay button over it. 
and it's going to ask you if you'd like to open the app. It looks like mine's already pre-installed, but if it wasn't installed, it's just a matter of pressing OK, then it'll download it, install it for you. And if you want to find the app once you've done that, press the home button and it'll just be right off to this uh, right side here. This is where all of your different applications will show up once you've downloaded them. So yeah, it's just a matter of going to search. You can download or write it in there and it'll pop up for you. Or you can go to the streaming store and this gives you a bunch of featured apps. Uh, you can navigate using search, apps, movies, TV shows, games, the works, as well as other popular channels and stuff like that. So I'd highly recommend, you know, going through this yourself just to get used to using the device. And uh, yeah, you'll be shocked and amazed as to how easy it is once you really start using it and getting the hang of it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.